Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome to another roundup of what we've done over the past couple of weeks on the Gentleman's Sports Club. This little head there, this is Haran, my cat. He's come to cheer me up because you know what? I am really, really absolutely fed up. I was that close to just basically not doing any videos for a while because I feel I've been really, really let down. And this is a message to people that are involved with products, involved with stuff that they can do to help little channels out like myself. Don't you ever set people's expectations and then you basically shit on them from a great height by the behavior that you did you know who you are and i'm really really pissed off with you and the reason i'm pissed is i ask nothing for this this is a hobby channel this is a non-monetized channel that we do and you know i do it for the love of the hobby but more importantly you want to grow it this will never be monetized or anything like that but i thank each and every one of you viewers that there each and every one of you viewers that you turn up you are the reason that i'm still carrying on with this because you know what over the past few days I've had it up to bloody here. But anyway, enough of that, enough of that run. I'm not going to spoil who has really, really grinded my stones about this. But an act of kindness, if you're a developer, if you produce anything, you know what? If you're going to allude that you're going to do something for somebody, fucking follow through on it. Don't be a prick and don't. And that's all I've got to say on that. Anyway, let's have a look back at what we've done over the past couple of weeks. And I've been really suffering a little bit recently, um, so to speak, which is why we haven't had so many videos. But I promise you, I promise all of you, all of you people that turn up to view this, I will get back into the swing of things. But I had to get that off my chest and I'll say no more on this. So what have we done? What have we done over the past couple of weeks? We did Rainbow Islands and this is a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant conversion on the Amiga. This goes back for many, many years and it is absolutely stunning. I picked this up, I played it and I knew how to play it. I've played it before and I did not disappoint myself. Sometimes in my gameplay, I disappoint myself and I think, oh dear Lord, you know, that was absolutely awful. But no, this was absolutely fun. I had a lot of fun bringing that video to you. We also did, what did we also do? We did Lucky Tower. Now, Lucky Tower, if you haven't looked at it, please go and take a look at this. This is like playing a really strange cartoon which is great humor full of great wonderful quirky humor it's recently had an update we played it before the update so the game is even bigger better and perhaps brighter than what it was when we played it before but yeah i enjoyed this i really really enjoyed that and some of the conversation pieces that happens between the characters is really funny you know you, you can't do wrong with this i think there was also a demo available on steam for this so lucky tower if you want to play a cartoon and you want to play a funny cartoon this is the game for you we did Tang Tang. Now, this was found on MAME, and this is a block-based platform game where you use blocks to build um, pathways to get to items that you've got to um, collect, and then a glory hole opens up on the screen, and you've got to jump through that glory hole, and when you've done that, you will be moved to the next level. I've not seen this before, and this game looks like it came from Korea. It looks like it's a mismatch of perhaps graphics from other games all blended into one, but it works. It really does work. So Tang Tang, if you want a little bit of fun, go and take a look at that. We also did Retro Robins Micro Blitz. Now, this, this is a developer that did come through, that did support, that did allow to it. So, you know, thank you to everybody involved in this. You are one of the great people there that doesn't let little channels down, that doesn't basically think, ah, oh, fuck it, it's a little channel, I don't care. No, you are absolutely brilliant. You really, really are. And regardless of that, because, you know, the, all, all, all this recent shenanigans happened after Retro Robin's Micro Blitz was done. But no, this was a brilliant, brilliant response from the author there. And this is a game well worth buying. I will be picking mine up at Crash 2024. And I'm rather excited to own the real physical set. It looks really, really good. It does. Um, And if you want that, go to that video. The links where you can get that from are in the video as well. So yeah, you can order one mail order. But no, I'm picking mine up from Crash. We also played Lance's Prior Hour, or whatever it's called. Ignore the name as it says on the title card. This is a Star Wars game. If you know the classic Star Wars Death Star bits and pieces and stuff like that, then you know exactly what you're letting yourself in for. You know, this, I can't believe it's on the Commodore 64. I don't even know if it had an official version of Star Wars, but this has been a phenomenal bit of coding. Everything works as it should. The only real difference I can say is everything is a little bit closer to you because of the nature of voice, obviously what the Commodore can do. So it feels like you're always a bit closer to the TIE Fighters. You're always a bit closer to the uh, the tops you've got to shoot off the turrets um, as you fly into the Death Star. But uh, Sorry, Death Star. But, you know, you've got the tunnel. You've got everything there. Everything is as it should be within the limitations of the 8-bit machine. 
We also did Yahtzee. Now, this comes from Russia. This originally, I think, came out on the Genesis. has been ported to the Sinclair Spectrum. This was a request from Alex to play, so we played this, and we did enjoy doing this. Yes, Yahtzee is a good, fun game to play. You know, it's not that demanding on your mind. It doesn't use lives. So it basically has restarts, so, you know, the amount of times you effectively die, you want to try and speed run this game as quick as you possibly can, you know, without failing to, you know, get through to the end with the minimum amount of restarts. But, yeah, good game, good quality game on the Spectrum. And, 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 if you have the marvellous, fantastic ZX Touch, um, I have a ZTD file that I basically uploaded onto the Discord. So on the Discord is that file, so you can basically go and get that yourself if you choose to. We also did Rogue Rollout. Rogue Rollout is Yahtzee, but you know, it's Yahtzee on acid. They've taken all this neon stuff and put it together so you can play the game. They've also taken the concept from Balotero, I believe it's called as well, the poker type game, where you've got modifiers for cards and everything like that. So, you know, you've got to get really high scores in some places and quite, quite interesting on how to do it. It works well. It hangs together well. And again, this is another solid piece of gaming. I know not all of you like the PC games, but you know what? I think this does fit the theme of the things that we do on the channel because we do do um, a fair bit of rogue like game so yeah i was generally very very pleased to be playing that we have phoenix so this is a perfect conversion on the amiga phoenix was a great game and when i found this i basically found this on the mr fpj you can download something called amiga vision which used to be called mega ags and i just had a look at the year 2024 and this comes from a gentleman i believe a gentleman called jotg and he created this and holy hell it's absolutely wonderful, but it's Phoenix, as you know, with a splice of the AJ graphics, the AJ information on top of it, so it looks good, it sounds good, and yeah, it is a, a complete package, it really, really is. And finally, finally, we played Make 10 or 50. This is a strange game where if you can do maths, you'll think, yes, this is easy, I can count to 10. But oh my god, when you've got to take a joystick and you've got to mix it all together and you've got to basically, like in a word search, you've got to line up a list of numbers to click them off um, to make 10 or 50, which was really, really hard. You know what? It may blow your brain. It blew my brain a little bit and I thought I was going to absolutely sell through this. But no, 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 that wasn't the case. So, that brings us to the end of where we are. This is the roundup caught up, you know. Um, we may not get one of these next week because on next Saturday is Crash 2024, which I really look forward to going to here. Um, I meant what I said at the beginning of this video, though. You know, if you're involved with anything where you allude that you're going to do something, you indicate that you're going to do something, don't be a bloody cock and do a complete U-turn and do nothing. You know, little channels like me, we're trying to grow. We have thousands of great channels that we're up against. We really, really do. But when we get what I consider to be absolutely fucking shat on here, you know what? You win no love from me. You really, really don't. Um, you may do a U-turn. You may change your mind on something. But, you know, we rely as channels on the kindness, on the generosity of people. You know, the Retro Robins game that we're allowed to do what we did to. WLS, all the great things that he does. Uh, Putty Cat, 110 Soldiers, you know, I could go on and list a few, lots of great people, you know, the people behind ZX Touch as well, but you know what, we only get one small sliver of the market, one small sliver of the viewership, and if we're treated like shit, what's the point, what's the point of having any independent channels when we're just worth jack shit to you? You know, there really, really isn't. Anyway, that is absolutely this time the final thing I'm going to say on this. I won't even go into any more conversations. But trust me, I am really, really pissed off about the way that I believe, I feel, I have been treated. And you know what? That's my perception on how I've been treated. So yeah, you know who you are. I hope you sleep well at night. But beyond you, my viewers, I hope all of you sleep well at night. And sorry, this is a bit of a ranty one. But... I have to get this off my chest because all I'm going to do otherwise is bottle it up and it will just come to a, a, an explosion in terms of I think, fuck it, I'm not interested in doing this anymore because I, I put a lot of money into this. You know, all of this is absolutely self-funded and when you hope for just a little bit of something nice to happen for the channel, you know, a little bit of something that may give it a bit of a boost and you get shit on, it makes you feel pretty damn bad. Anyway, stay safe, take care and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.